Yo, what is up guys? This is Kicking Nerd back with a brand new video. EA Sports finally did it. They finally brought back NCAA football. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am. I know a lot of you guys are all happy too. It's renamed EA Sports College Football, which I personally prefer the new name more. I understand with all the problems with the NCAA and all that, why they want the name change. I, uh, it's going to be remade for uh, for 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 the newer consoles the next gen you know like the ps5 i don't know about the ps4 but ea sports it says here ea sports is rebooting its college football series for next generation and consoles and i know i'm kind of late to this like a lot of other youtubers have already like covered this topic like the day it came out but i've been real busy lately so i haven't had too much time to do it so for those of you who don't know ncaa football 14, all the way back 2013, seven years ago, was the last game ever made in this franchise. And it's sadly because the college athletes who were in this game, of course, could not receive money from EA Sports and felt like they were being cheated on and threatened to sue EA Sports. And because of this, the NCAA had to shut down on EA Sports' game, NCAA Football. And NCAA Football 14 was the last version ever made, sadly. And since then, we have not gotten a, a new game. Of course, a lot of people have made their own custom covers for it, or for what would be the game if it had never gotten shut down. Now, with that being said, the new game will not have real players, believe it or not. Now, of course, this could at some point eventually change with all the NCAA uh changes in the rules with player payment but i'll get into what it says here ea is bringing back college football games without college players after missing being in action for years electronic arts announced it will be making college football video games again ea sports college football won't use any real names or player likeness now obviously it will still be using a player on the cover, most likely a player that's going in the NFL draft, but most likely will not be using a player that's playing in college, going into his junior year or senior year obviously. They'll only be using a player that's about to graduate that's going in the NFL draft like I said. Now a big question for me is where are the graphics gonna look like? Are they gonna be like the original NCAA football graphics? Or are they going to be more like the Madden graphics that we saw in the Madden 20 NCAA football mod, which were, I'm not going to lie, were very good looking. Still, though, I personally would prefer the NCAA graphics. It just feels more original. The style, I feel like, looks better. Even with the newer, more better looking Madden graphics, I feel like the NCAA graphics always have and always will look better than the Madden graphics. Even with some of the newer Madden graphics, I feel like the NCAA graphics just feel more original and I know there's a lot of people who agree. Another big question for me is what is the future for NCAA Football 14's updated rosters? Is EA going to continue to update them every year to where we have the real players from whatever year you're playing it in? Or is EA Sports College Football finally going to bring an end to it? With EA Sports College Football not having real players in the game, I do feel like there's a good chance EA is just going to continue to update the NCAA Football 14 rosters. Uh, I know they're going to do it for at least these next two years until the game comes out, since the earliest the game will come out will most likely be the summer of 2022 going into the 2022 season. Speaking of which, now I wanna get into the release date. So as of right now, there is no official release date for EA Sports College Football. However, the game will most likely, like I said, come out in the summer of 2022. However, of course, that's the earliest it could come out. I personally think it's most likely gonna be in the summer of 2023, going to 2023 college football season, but We'll just have to wait and see. Now, another big question I have is, what is the game gonna be like with no real players? In NCAA Football 14, along with most of the other NCAA football games we got, they always had real players. However, the real players never had their real names. They always either had a fake name, 
or just a hashtag with the position they play on the back of their jersey and their number replacing it. Assuming that we are able to edit some of the players, which I mean, come on, we obviously will be able to. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't EA want to do that for us? A lot of people are going to be editing some of the fake players in the game to make them look more like the real players in real life. Since the collapse of NCAA football, like I said earlier, all we got was updated rosters every year from NCAA Football 14. There are a lot of people, including me, who actually kept their Xbox 360 just for the sake of playing NCAA football every year. Two years later, after the end of NCAA football, EA Sports in the 2015 National Championship game announced that it would be bringing NCAA football back in the summer of 2016, which was when it was going to be released. However, EA was just pulling our leg with this one. It was all fake news. Now, from 2016 to 2019, there was a lot of talk about a new college football video game being made called Gridiron Champions by a different company known as IMV Gaming. However, this was sadly not meant to be. This game wasn't going to have any real teams, believe it or not. But with us not having a college football game in such a long time, there were a lot of people who were desperate to get one back. And there were a lot of people who were very optimistic about this, including me. However, the whole rise and fall of Gridiron Champions and its development is a video for another time. There have been many NCAA football mods on Madden though these past couple of years, like I mentioned earlier, where we got to play NCAA football pretty much in Madden graphics, and with the most recent being College Football Revamped. Now all these mods on Madden 20 with NCAA football is really hard for me to explain so i won't be going too far into it but like i said yeah it's pretty much ncaa football but on madden with madden graphics i'm surprised this isn't this isn't something that a lot of other youtubers are talking about uh but i kind i'm kind of wondering what the future is for the college football mods on madden are they going to continue or with the rise of EA Sports College Football, is EA just going to kind of stop with the NCAA football mods on Madden since we have EA Sports College Football? I personally think they will probably stop with the mods on Madden. I know a lot of people are going to be mad about that since the one thing, like I said, the mods have that we, don't, we won't be having in this game is the real players, but still... Like I said, I, I really hate to say that, but I think that's going to be the case. But anyway, that's all I got for now, guys. Thank you for watching this video. It's taken me forever to make this. I'm sorry. I know it's incredibly late, and I know there are probably a lot of problems with this video. It's not my best, but I still thought I'd get it out while it's going on. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys, and bye.